Today we're going to learn how to crochet the boho textures pillow pattern. Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome to the snugglery. We're going into the summer of 2020 and we've all gotten very acquainted with our homes and now more than ever people want to have a space that's cozy and one way to make any room cozy fast is to load it up with touchable textures. So that's what I had in mind when I made this pillow pattern. That and the fact that the loop stitch and the bobble stitch are really fun crochet stitches to make. This pattern is essentially made up of loop stitch sections and bobble stitch sections separated by some back loop single crochet. In this video, I'll give you the stitch counts for this about 16 inch pillow and suggestions for all the most common pillow form sizes are in the written pattern, which is available on my website and that will be linked down below. You'll need about 310 yards of a size six super bulky weight yarn like Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick and a 10 millimeter crochet hook. And we don't need a tapestry needle because all the seaming is done with slip stitches. So to begin, chain 29 chains, skip the first chain, and make one single crochet into each chain for a total of 28 stitches for row one. And that stitch count of 28 stitches will be consistent throughout the whole pattern. We'll start with a loop stitch section, which you see me starting here in the middle of my pillow, but every loop stitch section is the same. Chain one and turn, and we'll work a loop stitch into every stitch of the row. I'll show you a loop stitch here real quick, and then we'll break it down step by step. To do the loop stitch, drape the yarn over your finger like this, grab your work and extend your finger. Then insert your hook into the stitch. Yarn over with yarn from the back of your finger and then swing your hook around and yarn over with the yarn coming off the front of your finger. Bring both loops simultaneously through your stitch and yarn over to pull through all three loops on your hook. Continue into every stitch of the row. Then chain one and turn to the right side and all right side rows of the loop stitch sections are just single crochet across the row. And chain one to turn your work to work another row of loop stitches. Repeat those two rows for a total of eight rows or four rows of loops On the next right side row, work single crochet across the row, but just into the back loops. By working into the back loops, it creates this little ridge that provides a nice visual separation between the loops and the bobbles. And that means, you guessed it, it's time to start a bobble section. The actual bobbles are also worked on the wrong side. So go ahead and work one single crochet into the first stitch and then a bobble into the next stitch. To do the bobble stitch, begin like you're going to make a double crochet by yarning over and inserting your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through the first two loops on your hook, but don't pull through the last two loops. Leave that double crochet half unworked and repeat, yarn over, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and draw through two. Now you have three loops on your hook, and we're going to do it one more time. Now with four loops on your hook, you can yarn over and draw through all four loops. 
and complete the bobble stitch by making a tight single crochet into the next stitch. And your bobble will pop out on the right side of your work like this. Continue working, bobble stitch, single crochet, across the row, and I have a more in-depth bobble stitch tutorial linked down below if you need a little refresher. At the end of the row, you'll have two stitches left, which is enough for one more bobble sequence. So bobble, single crochet into the last two stitches. Chain one and turn. Admire your bobbles. And then the next row is to work a single crochet across the row. It can be kind of hard to see the stitches on the top of the bobble row. But if you look close, you can see it looks like there's a little stitch, a big stitch, a little stitch, a big stitch, and those are the ones that you're going to work the single crochets into. We have two more rows of bobbles to go. And if you come down here to the section I already did, you see that the bobbles are staggered rather than stacked on top of each other. So to do that, we're just going to have to change up the second bobble row slightly. You'll begin this bobble row with a bobble rather than a single crochet like the last one. And at the end of the row, you'll have an extra stitch, so just make sure to put an extra single crochet into that stitch. Repeat the first bobble row for a total of three rows of bobbles. And to finish up a bobble section, work the next row of single crochet into the back loops of the stitches on top of the bobbles. That will kind of mimic the back loop at the start of the bobble section. Now before we move on to the next loop stitch section, we want to work an extra couple of single crochet rows. Since the loops hang down like this, we don't want them to cover up our bobbles. So I'm going to work two more rows of single crochet and try a little editing magic. Ta-da! Did it work? Anyway, now you can start the next loop stitch section and repeat one loop stitch section followed by a bobble section and end with one additional loop stitch section. Now you can repeat the panel again for the back or make a panel in a basic stitch like single crochet or half double crochet that's also 28 stitches wide and work until it's as tall as the first panel. Now we're going to seam them with the right sides facing. I'm going to start by seaming up one of the long sides. I'll fasten on to the first stitch here. And we'll slip stitch seam working along the edges of our work. There aren't clear stitches to work into since this is the edge of our work, so just insert your hook into the edge of one panel and then into the next panel. And slip stitch. Again, I'll insert my hook into any old place on the edge and into the next panel 
and slip stitch. Just slip stitch evenly up the side. And as you go, make sure neither side is getting shorter too quickly or you'll run out of stitches on one side. If that happens, just work into the edges a little farther apart on the longer side. You'll come to a shorter side, and the short sides of the pillow are easier to seam because they have actual stitches to work into. I just chained one, and I'll slip stitch the front and back panels together, one for one, stitch for stitch. I seamed up the other side, and now there's just one short edge open, and that means it's time to turn it right side in and stuff it. So let's talk a little bit about stuffing. The pillowcase is a bit longer than it is wide, and you can stuff up to an 18 inch pillow form in here, and the stitches will stretch to the side, kind of making it shorter in the process. I was also able to comfortably put a 16 inch pillow form in here. That's what this little purple pillow here is. And there's a little room at the top, but that gives you a nice throw pillow chop, and I think it looks great this way. You can also line it with an old pillowcase and do what I love to do, which is stuff projects with old undonatable textiles that I have around the house, and that way it becomes kind of a decluttering project too. I actually had this old 18 inch down filled pillow form that needed a cover, so that's what I'm gonna use. And when you do stuff the pillow, all that's left is to seam up the top, and this seam won't be on the inside like the others. And it's just a little slip stitch seam. I had to fasten on again because I ran out of working yarn. But it's the same as we did before, just slip stitching into each stitch of the front and back panels. Fasten off and weave in your ends and you're done with this beautiful boho inspired pillow that will instantly cozy up any corner of your home. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and don't forget to check the description box below for a link to the pattern download, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Yeah, that's mommy's camera, honey. Yeah, I'm trying to film a video. That's right. What's up, sweetheart? You wanna be in mommy's video? And don't touch mommy's camera, honey. No, don't touch the camera, sweet girl. No, don't touch the camera. Don't touch mommy's camera.